So, a lot has been said about this new iPhone 5 that just came out uh, yesterday, pretty much at the one of pre-sales, pre-orders. So, the, the thing is, like, everybody wants to get their hands on them. You have an international customers, and everybody wants to get it. eBay started selling it right before the event for the launch announcement. And prices are sky high, thousand dollars or so. So everybody wants to get the phone, but some people seem to be forgetting that this device is just a old standard on SIM cards called nano SIM which is even smaller than the actual micro SIM that the iPhone 4S and 4 have. So, um, I've been doing some research because I live outside the United States and uh, I, I'm, I want to get one phone for myself too. And um, I found out that the micro SIM can be cut down to a nano SIM. But it will not fit the iPhone 5 because the micro SIM is thicker than the nano SIM. So um, that's why they're saying even if you can cut down a micro SIM to the size of a nano SIM, it will not work because it will not fit in the, the little drawer that the iPhone 5 has. So I've been thinking and looking around online that seems like our hopes for international users is not lost, okay? We would have to wait for our carriers in our respective countries to update their, their uh, SIM card stock to nano SIM, which could take a couple months, three, four months before it actually launches. And um, there's a solution. So the thing is, there are, there are, you can cut it with scissors, you can take a micro SIM card or a full sized SIM card and cut it down to a micro SIM, or I'm sorry, you can take a full SIM, a full size SIM card and cut it down into a nano SIM. You can make it the size of a nano SIM. So for you to solve the problem with the thickness, you will have to get some sandpaper of um, 300 water sandpaper, that's what I've been reading around, which is uh, really, really, really light on the surfaces. You have to scratch down the plastic on top of the SIM card that you just cut down and make it just the right thickness. I was reading online and it is about 0.1 millimeters thinner than a micro SIM, a nano SIM. So you don't have to take off too much of the surface of the SIM card. You just have to make sure you make it even because you might might get your uh, SIM card drawer stopped in there. So, you know, this is just a little heads up. If you want to buy an iPhone 5 and your carrier does not have nano SIMs yet, you can just get a regular micro SIM card and I haven't tested this myself, but from what I've been reading and seeing the models of the nano SIM and the dimensions they have, you can cut it down and it should work perfectly. Because the important part in the SIM card is just a little um, metallic part at the bottom, which is the chip. Yes, as long as you don't interfere with the chip, you can take the whole plastic part off and it will work just fine. However, let me be clear on the fact that you do this on your own risk. But, you know, it's a good addition. If you want to buy an iPhone 5 and you don't want to wait to be able to use it, you can just do that. Get regular sandpaper from Home Depot or any hardware store wherever you live, and you'll be fine. Okay? I hope this video is helpful for some people out there. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.